So the other day I was wondering to myself, what is the volume of 88.8 grams of carbon dioxide at STP? Standard temperature and pressure. I thought, well, what is standard temperature and pressure? I guess, ooh, it's, it's quite cold here. Uh, uh, it's probably about zero Celsius. Uh, uh, freezing, where, where water freezes. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's standard temperature. What about pressure? Well, we're at the beach. Um, yeah, that's where it would be, one atmosphere of pressure. So we're at standard temperature and pressure. So, so let's solve the problem. Let's start out with what's our given? Well, yeah, our given, given is 88.8 grams. What do we want? We want, I guess, volume, and the unit for volume is liters. So let's figure it out. Uh, let's start out with 88.8 grams of CO2. Let's draw our little line here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's use conversion tables. So we use that. We've got grams here. So I guess that probably means we need grams here. And also, can we go directly from mass into liters? You know, no, no, we can't. We have to go through something else. In fact, we have to go through. We have to go through the mole. So let's do that. So we're going to go grams into one mole. And how do we figure out how to go from grams of CO2 to the mole? Oh, yeah, we use our handy dandy tool. Our favorite friend, the periodic table. So we've got CO2, we'll probably use yeah, formula mass. Formula mass or molar mass. So let's look for carbon first. Well, if we look, we see carbon 12.01, 12.01. Zero, 01 grams and we need two oxygens so we're going to go o2 and add this let's find oxygen oh yeah we're going to have 16.00 when we round it uh and we have to have two of these times 2 so Let's add that up with our handy dandy calculator. Here we are, second on, second on, on. There we are. So let's go 12.01 plus 16.00 times 2. That equals 44. Point zero one grams. So that's what one mole is going to equal here. 44.01 grams. And now we want liters. We're still only at moles. We better do something different. And since we're at STP, we know exactly what to do. Well, let's first here. Grams cancel, that's great. Got moles up here, which means we need moles down here. And we know one mole equals 22.4 liters. Let's see, these units are going to cancel now too. All right, so we're just going to multiply everything on the top. And then we'll divide it all by everything multiplied on the bottom. So let's throw that in our calculator. Here we are. Let's go ahead and clear. We'll go 88.8 times 1 times 22.4. That all equals 
1989.12. And it's going to be liters. I'm going to divide that by everything on the bottom, which is pretty easy, but I'll do it anyway. 44.01 times 1. So we've got 44.01. Let's divide these two out. Here, we'll clear. And we'll go 1, 9, 89.12 divided by 44.01 and we get 45.197 now there's a whole bunch of digits there and I know we only started out with three digits so we have three sig figs in and on the other side we need three sig figs so let's cross out this extra let's cross out this extra but we need to increase this one because of rounding so this answer is 45.2 and what are our units again oh yeah we can circle them right here we can circle them right here we're in liters, my friend. And that is exactly how many liters are in 88.8 .8 grams of CO2. Do you agree, Tilly? Yes, I do!